Sometimes institutions provide silos that create a sense of peace, safety net, intellectual exploration, and give the impression that the surrounding community is similar. Cal State San Bernardino is an anomaly. San Bernardino City is the complete opposite. San Bernardino has been burdened by a series of negative press, fires, terrorist attacks, school shootings, mental health disparities, and bankruptcy. In 2006, San Bernardino and Riverside were the first cities to indicate the housing market was going to crash. San Bernardino is the birthplace of McDonald's and famous for Route 66. The San Bernardino school system is in constant battle to improve retention and graduation rates. According to the American Community Survey, less than 30% attain a high school diploma or GED, and about 11% attain a bachelor's degree or higher. This can impact families when it comes to economic opportunities, mental and physical health. There is a program that has been combating this issue for about 10 years by breaking with tradition. This program is not popular and does not receive adequate support or resources to operate. This program has eliminated the walls that segregate educators, families, community members, and students. Using the Paulo Freire and Reggio Emilia approach, this program educates, empowers, engages, and provides resources to the entire community simultaneously. This innovative, interactive program is called SKIP. One, two, and three. Lo dejamos ahí un rato para que se cocine, le ponemos la tapadera. Yeah, I hear the the shooting and the bullet were you know when they were shooting. I get scared and but you know I tried to look through the window and my wife told me not to look that I may be get hurt. Police departments say they were forced to shoot and kill a man on a San Bernardino neighborhood street. Now that shooting left the street as well as a couple houses and vehicles littered with bullets. One hit our heater and it just shattered. There was actually fragments of the the bullet shells. The fatal officer-involved shooting happened around 3.30 Saturday morning in the 800 block of North Davidson in San Bernardino. There was a body in the middle of the floor. Hey! The middle of the street. It was the police tape. That's you! That's you! The police tape was on my grandma's fence, so I thought something happened to her. May I quote? Just because you're different doesn't mean you can't fit in. It's like... Um, I'm, yes, like, right now I'm in Cal State, I'm doing this quote club for poetry, and um, we were in our groups, and everybody in our group is different, and everybody fits in. So it doesn't matter what race you are, it doesn't matter how you look like, what your hair looks like, it doesn't matter of any of that. It matters how you act, it matters how you meet respond to everything else. Skip has evolved in so many different ways, but I, I, I guess one of the things I want to talk about is what Skip addresses and the community and how it helps families and students and teachers. I think one of the things you notice uh, when you're in education, how sometimes education separates people and either a classroom separates students in terms of being talented and not talented. Um, and 
I think that's one of the practices that we really had to think about is how we separate people and how we really need to think about consciously not doing that. And I think Skip does a wonderful job of looking at the student uh, as that student um, is my student, it's going to be your student, looking at it looking at the student holistically she will be uh, right now a kindergarten or a preschool or uh, elementary school or high school and college and that student is really belongs uh, is, is connected to all these different institutions and skip when it deals with a whole family um, and deals with the student from high school to you know teen to adolescent uh, it's really looking at that student and the whole family uh, in the practice, it's not about separating uh, students and different ages, different abilities. So that's one of the first principles I think that Skip does. Coming into the class, I think I was super nervous, like completely nervous, just because I, I, I mean, I'm an avid tutor right now, but it's different. It's different having to, um, there's such a wide variety of ages that it's like, will I be interesting enough? Will I catch their attention enough? Or will I like? Will I offer them something that they're not getting somewhere else? You know what I mean? And the whole idea that we kind of had to like sell ourselves to them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They're choosing us, mm -hmm. so they're they're if they see something that they like in us, then they're gonna want to pursue what we're offering. You know what I mean? So I think that that's that's something that I didn't really think about because I didn't I didn't know that going into skip I thought that we were just gonna like we were just gonna learn about how to be a teacher and then like like interact with them for like maybe 30 minutes you know what I mean but then being there with them and having to come up with like okay what are, like what do they like like wait there's so many different ages like what can we what can we bring to them that will unite all the different ages you know what I mean and with my pod it was just it was just super fun like I don't I, don't, I can't even put it into words how like exciting it is to be like standing in front of students and to be able to be like like I'm here for you what what do you want to do I'm here to meet where I'm, I'm here to meet you where you're at you know what I mean 